Well, hello there. So, uh, a couple days ago, I managed to actually kill my X7 DWN Plus motherboard. Uh, I was frustrated, really frustrated. I actually injured my uh, right hand punching a wall. That's how frustrated I was. I managed to kill it by slipping uh, with a screwdriver and damaging a couple of tracks on the motherboard and a couple of traces and, well, it was a differential pair and I just couldn't fix it because, well, differential pairs in modern motherboards run at such high, high speeds that uh, yeah, you can just solder wires. So, I am naming this video series uh, New Year, New PC, or New Year, New Computer, or whatever the title comes up as. I don't really know what I'm going to name it yet. So, the thing is... The year is 2016, as of now it is uh, January 2nd, so I'm recording this on the January 2nd. As of now I am using a temporary PC that I just built, it is a Core 2 Duo E4600, overclocked to 4 point, uh, I'm sorry 4 point, I, I wish. Uh, 2.8 gigahertz, 2 gigs of DDR RAM, uh, Radeon uh, 9550 with 256 megabytes of DDR, and an Intel Pro 1000 uh, gigabit uh, LAN card, and an 80 gigabyte. The SSD is not used; it's just there in storage. Uh, a gigab an 80 gigabyte um, IDE hard drive, a uh, Samsung spin, spin point running at ATA uh, 100 speed. This is all running uh, Debian 8.0. And no, I'm not using the integrated LAN because that is 10100. So, yeah, since I store everything in my server, which you cannot see in behind. All of that crap. Uh, I need a, gigab a gigabit card, so I added that PCI card right there. And I am using my Seasonic uh, M12 2 80 plus bronze uh, power supply, which is the power supply I was using in my main computer because a power supply is unbeatable. So that's my primary computer as of now. I am running dual monitors and I'm impressed by what this little 9550. It is an AGP card, by the way. So I'm surprised by what that 9550 can do. But back on topic. I'll be building another Xeon based computer because before uh, destroying my X70 WN Plus, I had already ordered a couple of, uh, well, a pair of Xeon uh, X5450s. So that's gonna be uh, the CPUs that I'm gonna be using on my new computer. A pair of Xeon X5450s running at 3 gigahertz. We'll see if I can overclock them. Um, I discovered that you can actually do overclock on C on server boards with a program called Set FSB on Windows, of course. So we'll see if I can overclock it. So now let's go over to the parts that I already have for the computer. I'll try to do uh, this in one take so I don't have to edit edit the video because editing on that machine 
is gonna be horrible so let's try to do this in one take so graphics card I'm gonna be using this I got this for 30 euro off of a friend that works in a computer shop this is a Radeon HD 5870 it's a the board is actually an XFX board, it's just a stock uh, board. 1GB of GDDR5, as you can see it's not the Ifinity 6 edition. The board is actually an XFX board, but the, the fan was actually... Uh, the bearings were shot, so I actually replaced the heatsink with a VaporX heatsink from Sapphire which actually works quite well I have tested this board with my X70WN Plus and this board is excellent I can max out just about every game I want so that's pretty good every game that I like pretty much I can max out on this thing this is a little USB 3.0 card based on a uh, Renesas, well, NEC, now Renesas, semiconductor, you can't see it very well. Uh, let's see if my phone can focus on that. No, I don't think it can focus on that. Uh, Renesas USB 3.0 chip. This is going into a secondary PCI Express slot. This is a Pinnacle Systems uh, MTV something. Well, you can read the numbers right there. Capture card. It has S video, composite, and FM and well, analog TV, which I'm not using at all. I'm just using the composite and the S video to capture from my game consoles right there. So yeah, I'll be putting that into the PCI slot, and that brings us to the heart of the computer, which is the new motherboard that will be replacing the X7 DWN Plus, because those parts were already installed in the X7 DWN Plus. So let's see, I hope I don't have anything embarrassing open already, okay, I have nothing. So, I will be replacing my X70WM Plus with this board that I have already ordered from the United States of America. This is a, ne a Supermicro X7DCA-L, which is a micro ATX. This time it is a standard form factor so I don't have to modify any cases or anything it just fits in a case in a standard case uh, X7DCA-L motherboard it is based on a Z on a on an Intel 5100 chipset it has a PCIe uh, 16x physical slot and electrical too so I don't have to modify anything to fit my graphics card. It has another PCI X, PCI Express, sorry, PCI Express, this is a 4X slot, which will be covered by my graphics card, so I don't care. And this is a PCI Express 8X slot, which I will be using at 1X speed for my PCI uh, USB 3.0. PCIe, X, PCIe uh, slot for my capture card, six RAM slots of which I will be covering, I, I will be using four for 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is uh, this is not fu fully buffered DDR2 like the X70WN Plus was. This is uh, this uses uh, reg registered DIMMs, so I will be using which are actually cheaper second hand so for 40 bucks i can get uh 16 gigabytes of ram so i'll be throwing in 16 gigabytes of ram as you can see it uses just an 8 pin and the 24 pin so 
I will be using my M12 to power supply. Uh, I will be throwing in the X5450s in there and a couple of uh, heat sinks that I have already, which are 92mm heat sinks, pretty standard, with some adapters that I made to use uh, standard AMD mount heat sinks on 771 socket uh, heatsink mounts so yeah that's about it for the case I will be using I don't I don't think uh, this thing has a pause button so we'll just rush yes I am addicted to Yuri Yuri uh, lately I have been addicted to Yuri to Yuri Yuri Lately, let's see if I can get up from my chair and get to the case, which is at the other side of the house, conveniently. That right there at the front, that monster, this monster right here, is my old case where my X70WN Plus uh, was. Damage traces. As you can see, this is one of my tr uh, tries to fix one of the damage traces. I couldn't. So there they are, the damage traces. So here is the case that I will be using. It looks cheesy as all heck. It looks cheesy and tacky and well, but I like it. This is the case that I will be using. It came from a Packard Bell. It used to say Packard Bell right here, but uh, as I was cleaning it, it came off. It still says Packard Bell right there on the side. I think on the other side too. Yeah, on the other side too. So yeah, it has two five and a quarter base right there, which will be empty. And one three and a half inch bay right there, which will be this uh, this floppy drive will be staying right there. Power button and light and HDD light, dual USBs and well, standard affair for expansion slots, uh, motherboard I/O and power supply. On the interior, it is, well, again, pretty standard affair, just a um, mini, well, uh, micro ATX mounting, and I will have enough space. Uh, one hard drive mount right here, another hard drive mount right there, which I won't be using, and I will mount my SSD on these holes right there. So, yeah, that's about it for the PC. When the parts arrive, I will make another video, and well, that's about it. So, you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever, and bye.